Hey guys, I want to talk to you about motorcycle disc brake locks today and some other motorbike locks. Uh, I don't really, I don't have a motorbike, but I love motorbike locks because they're just dense and heavy duty. Uh, so this is the actually a forever lock version of a disc brake lock. It works the same way as the other forever locks. Uh, pull out the slider, rotate that out, put it in the key chamber. Rotate it in, push it, and then when you turn the handle, uh, you'll see the shackle is still there because you actually have to physically push the shackle down, and then you can put that in your, you know, the disc brake, and then put the shackle back up. So yeah, I mean this is real nice, heavy duty, weighs around 750 grams. Um, so I mean I don't have any of these in stock. This is just a demo model that was given to me. But if you're interested in something like this, I could probably get some, so just let me know. Uh, another cool disc brake lock I have is this TSL lock. Uh, it's also really nice, thick, heavy, I think it weighs around 500 grams. Uh, what I like about this is that the, the key bidding is pretty cool, pretty radical. Uh, and it has some security features uh, like uh, security pins. It has this special type of security pin, kind of looks like a tea pin, mushroom pin uh, style for the for the driver pins and the key pins. And I, now I don't know how many of those. I'm sure there are at least one or two standards in there, but uh, it does have those security pins. It works really smoothly. Just barely turn and it opens up. Uh, it's, oh, it actually has uh, springs of different tension too. Uh, and so picking this is actually really difficult. I've been trying to pick this lock for maybe four or five hours I've put into it and I can't do it. It just freezes up every time I get this deep fall set, it just completely freezes. Uh, also has a uh, anti-drilling faceplate and I think an anti-drill pin here too. So another really cool lock. This is actually would be a good challenge lock for people to try to pick. Um, still working on it. If you want one of those, let me know. I think I could get you one too. Of course, I made a video about this before. This dual cylinder disc brake lock. Um, uh, both cylinders have to turn at the same exact time. I don't know if you can see that and then the shackle will pop just like that so yeah I've, I've talked about this before but I just wanted to throw it in there just because it's one of my favorite locks it's just too cool I can't wait until someone tries to pick this I still don't know how it would be done um, and now I got this vintage motorbike lock it's a Ty Lee Terminator I've made a post about this on key picking before but I thought I'd show it here uh, it's pretty heavy, weighs, I don't know, I think uh, maybe 700, almost 750 grams. Uh, it has this like starfish style keyway. It's 15 pins, three pins on each side. Uh, works like this. Like that. Shackle pops out. You can see what that looks like in there. And then you can you know, adjust the, adjust the height by pushing it in. And then if you want to lock it all the way, push it like that. Uh, I've, of course I've picked this before and I, ex I almost broke a glass table because I was picking it down in this direction. So imagine I'm picking it like this and I bang, a shackle popped, hit the glass table. And I was like, Oh man, that was a close one, but luckily nothing broke. Uh, yeah, this is a really cool lock. I've only seen one of these. Have no idea how old it is though, but it looks it looks pretty old. Anyway, it's got a cool name, <laughs> the Terminator, Tylee Terminator. Okay, so those were my collection of disc brake locks and a motorbike lock. Uh, thanks for watching.